Hi guys, Dave Chesson here of Kindlepreneur.com and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the top books that I believe that all authors should definitely read if they wanna help increase their book sales. Now, the thing about book marketing is that it's not just a how-to or strategic thing like we like to tackle at Kindlepreneur.com. Instead, there's an internal component to you as an entrepreneur, as well as the how-tos and strategies, and finally, your growth as a online marketer. So I've broken this section into three different types of books. The first is self-reflection. The second is the how-tos and strategies of book marketing. And the third is all-around entrepreneurship. The first part is self-reflection. Now this is about making sure that you can kind of look internally into yourself and get past any of the barriers that are stopping you from being a much better book marketer. And the first book I would like to bring up is Real Artists Don't Starve by Jeff Goins. This book is incredible at tackling what is stopping you from believing in yourself, your writing, and therefore your ability to sell legitimately to other people. Most of us kind of have this hang up. We believe that the book that we have inside of us is maybe going to fail. And that fear drives us into not being the right kind of marketer. I tell you as a book marketer, if you truly believe in your book and your skills and artists and that you deserve to succeed, you'll be able to accomplish a lot more than if you didn't. Now the second book, really it's kind of two books, is anything by Austin Kleon, which includes Steal Like an Artist and Show Your Work. These two books are great. They're almost like little books that you can put on your coffee table, but they're quick reads and more importantly, they have a lot to offer. I flip through them probably once every two months because it really invigorates myself, my creativity, and my ability to think beyond that. And finally, the last in the books is You Must Write Your Book by Honoré Corder. This is an incredible book to get you past the whole, oh man, I can't write this book, or seeing it too much as a big project. Instead, it will simplify that and help you to get from beginning to finish, which I think is something that actually stops a lot of us out there from getting the book that we should write out into the market. Okay, now on to the how-tos and strategies to book marketing. Let's face it, these books are going to give you the stepping stones that you need to take to be a better book marketer. Now, instead of just listing off a whole bunch of books that are everything on book marketing, I chose my favorite on just book marketing itself, and then I went into particular books that have a a certain strategy or tactic that I absolutely love, and I highly recommend checking them all out. Now the first is your first 1,000 copies by Tim Grawl. This, I think, has the best outlook on the whole book marketing process, and I think that it's absolutely worth your time whether you're a beginner or advanced. The next book is actually one of the first books I ever read as an online marketer, and that was Book Marketing is Dead by Derek Murphy. This book has an incredible job of kind of shifting your mentality from you know the whole traditional marketing into the new online marketing. It's a little older, because I mean, let's face it, it was one of the first books I read, but it still holds true today. The next one is by Chris Fox, and it's called Right to Market. Now, if you've followed any of Kindlepreneur's information or some of my videos, you know that I really like it when we look at what market exists and write the book for that. It doesn't mean you have to change, you know, exactly what you want to write as a writer, because let's face it, that's art, but it does a great job of showing you how you can take your art and get it to the right people. So check that book out. The next book is specific to a certain strategy that I think most authors miss and they should definitely take the time to do right. And that's How to Write a Sizzling Synopsis by Brian Cohen. This has been the framework that I use every time I go to write not only my book description, but also the same framework I use to write L. Ron Hubbard's book description for one of my favorite books, Battlefield Earth. This will lay out the structure because we need structure. And more importantly, a book description isn't just a book report or a complete you know, layout of what happened in a story. It's got to convince people that this is the right book for them and that they should buy. And if your book description doesn't do that, then no matter how great your other tactics are, you won't convert shoppers into buyers. And last but not least is Mastering Amazon Ads by my good friend Brian Meeks. 
This guy is incredibly detailed into his process on Amazon ads. And I think it's one of the most wonderful things that somebody can check out, especially after they've taken my free course on AMS ads, which you can find at amscourse.com. And the final section that I think you should check out is on general entrepreneurship. Now, the two books that I'm going to talk about are extremely great at helping you go from just an individual book to looking at it like a business. Because let's face it, it is kind of a business, right? It's not a hobby. We're here to get our books in front of more people and to sell and make more money. And I think that these books, although they were written for general entrepreneurship, they're perfect for us. The first one is Tribes by Seth Godin. Now, selling a book means that you had a customer, but there's so much more to taking that customer and making them into a fan, or as Seth calls it, your tribe. Once you as an author have developed a tribe, you have a following that will immediately buy your next book and drop reviews, which is awesome, and will do even more as you go. But that doesn't just happen by writing really good stuff. It happens from the process that he talks about in his book. And the next one is Influence by Robert Cialdini. This is one of my favorite books and I actually read it once a year. It is incredible at helping you understand the trigger points and the things that influence people to stop what they're doing and to purchase or check out what you're doing. It's kind of funny how like science is full of these little things that we as humans do and this book really dives into it. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for you as an author to find out how you can convince you know, your readers or your email list to actually take action and to leave reviews and more importantly, to actually recommend your book to more people. So there you have it. There's my final list of all the books I think all authors should check out, whether you're novice or you're an expert. Granted, not all of them are specifically about book marketing, but as you can see, to be a book entrepreneur or Kindlepreneur, you need to have a full look at everything that's going on, not just within our industry, but outside, and how we can take our books to the next level. And with that, I'm Dave Chesson, signing off. Cheers.